How to draw a rose with Faber-Castell Polychromos. This Faber-Castell colored pencil tutorial shows how to draw a realistic rose with colored pencils in an easy way. This realistic drawing colored pencil tutorial on how to draw a rose with colored pencils does not show the sketching process, only the coloring. Watch how I make my sketches with my sketching playlist. This colored pencil drawing tutorial for beginners explains the technique I use to draw this Faber-Castell Polychromos realistic rose. This simple but effective shading technique will prevent your drawings from looking flat and give volume to your subjects. Using this technique, you can create a full drawing with only a few colored pencils. All you have to do is select a mid-tone, a highlight and a shadow. The mid-tone is the color that's prevalent in the reference photo. For this drawing of a rose in polychromos, I selected one such color for the green parts, one for the red parts and one for the yellow parts. I selected Faber-Castell Polychromos 167 for the green parts, 191 for the red parts, 184 for the yellow parts, 103 for the highlights and 175 for the shadows. This color pencil tutorial shows how to draw a realistic rose with these colored pencils. I start drawing this polychromous realistic rose by working on the buds and the stems using 167 for the midtone, 103 for the highlight and for brightening, and 175 for the shadows and for darkening. Once I'm done with the green parts, I move on to the petals, which will be red. The technique I'm using is the same throughout. To draw this Faber-Castell Polychromos rose, I first block in the midtone and then the highlight and the shadow, roughly determining where each of them goes. After that, I work on smoothing out transitions between them and adding layers of colored pencil to deepen the colors and cover all of the paper. I'm using the midtone to make the color richer and livelier. I'm using the highlight to brighten the parts that need to be brighter, and I'm using the shadow to darken the parts that need to be darker. In this Faber-Castell color pencil tutorial, I'm working from left to right and from top to bottom to avoid smudging. In addition to working from left to right and from top to bottom, I'm focusing on one specific section at a time. I'm using Koinor sketchbook paper, which is an inexpensive paper for colored pencil. You can find the full list of materials used for drawing this rose in Polychromos in the description. If you like this color pencil drawing tutorial, please consider giving it a thumbs up and subscribing to my channel for more colored pencil drawing tutorials for beginners and content about drawing. To watch more tutorials, check out my tutorials playlist where you will find polychromos tutorials and Karen Dash luminance tutorials. If you want to watch this drawing process in more detail, check out the real-time drawing video that shows which pencils I'm using at all times by following the link in the description.